Hi, my name is Amber. Welcome back to my channel, Books and Beaches. So January is quickly winding down, but I still have one more goal that I'm hoping to meet in the month of January. So as you know, I kind of broke my year down and I have set, I guess, three different goals for myself. Uh, one is reading uh, at least a book a month from 12 books that my friends have picked for me. Uh, another is 12 books off my shelves that I have pulled for myself. And then uh, my last project, which is the one I'm focusing on here, is I want to read like a different booktuber each month. So I realized, oh no, I really need to get this project started. And this is all on me. <laughs> Um, because this month, as you probably already know, I am going to be reading Like Audrey from Chapter and Converse. And this could not be a more fitting start for this project because I have so many books back here on my shelves to thank Audrey for because they were recommended by her and I, I blame her for so, so many of these. Um, so a while ago I asked her for her recommendation of a book that I should read and she couldn't just give me one, <laughs> which is not a problem in the slightest. It, but I also have a terrible time deciding. So what I am going to do in this reading vlog is actually do a bit of a try a chapter, um, maybe a chapter, maybe two chapters, depending on how far I get, and then decide which one I will continue with for the rest of the vlog. So let me show you the three books that Audrey recommended for me. Not that she hasn't recommended so many other books to me. Um, I'm actually even more pretty positive I have an entire shelf on my Goodreads just because of Audrey. But anyways, let me show you the three books that I'm going to be focusing on in this video for the try a chapter portion, and then I'll pick one to like keep focusing on. Could I have made that any more confusing? Probably not. All right, the first one that she she suggested, and she's been suggesting this to me for quite a while, is uh, Never Saw Me Coming, and this is by Vera Kirian. Uh, this was on my 23 books to read in 2023, and I just didn't get to it, and I have heard so many amazing things, obviously amazing things from Audrey, and yeah, so got this one sitting here. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I really need to pick it up. So this will be a great opportunity to give that a try. So that was the first one she suggested. Uh, the next one here is Shiver, and this is by Allie Reynolds. Um, this one was a timely fit until like the last couple days, because we had just gotten a snowstorm here in Wisconsin. And all of a sudden now it's warmed back up into like the mid thirties and all of the snow is melting again, but that is okay. We are still going to be in the midst of winter for quite some time. Uh, so I will be looking into this one and seeing how I feel about it. And I've heard from a lot of people, including Audrey, about how great this one is. Um, yeah, it says it started as a reunion. It ended with murder. So love that. And then the third one, I actually don't have a physical copy of, um, but I do have both the ebook and the audiobook available on Everand. And that is, I want to get this right, They Will Never Learn um, by Lane Fargo. And Audrey definitely raved about that one as well. And if I remember right, it's based on a college campus. So those are going to be the three books that I'm going to take a look at, kind of try a chapter, see how I feel, and then pick one to truly focus on so that I can say I am reading like Audrey. So let's jump in, see how I feel about each of these. I'll kind of update you and then show you which one I pick and we'll go from here. All right, I am in the process of getting ready for the gym, but I realized I should probably film this update so I don't forget. Um, but I have read the first two chapters of two of the books. So I have read uh, the first chapter of the Lane Fargo book, and now it's totally escaping my mind. Um, anyways, I'll make sure to look here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm forgetting it. Anyways, um, and then I read slash listened to the first chapter of Never Saw Me Coming by Vera Kirian. And I 
have really, really enjoyed both of them so far. So, um, I, I don't even want to start shiver because I don't want to make this any harder than I think it needs to be. I think this is going to be a perfect read. And so I, I, I'm, I'm going to save this one. I, I don't even want to put this one into the mix because I am so excited about these first two books that I, I, yeah, I just, I don't even want to throw another one into the mix. So my jaw dropped, I think it is it They'll Never Learn. It's gotta be it. That has got to be one of the best first chapters that I have ever read. <laughs> there is so much packed into that one chapter that I, I, I like, I, 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 I'm hooked. So <laughs> I, I think that is the book that I'm going to go with for reading like Audrey, just because the minute I finished that one, I didn't want to stop. I forced myself to stop because I knew I had at least one more book, if not two, that I needed to get to. Um, but I immediately, like the next day at work, went and told somebody about it after only reading one chapter. So that told me, like, this needs to be the book I'm choosing for reading like Audrey. But I am extremely perplexed slash curious about Never Saw Her Coming. Not that I didn't think I was going to be because I've heard such good things. And so I am going to focus on the Lane Fargo book for this vlog, but Never Saw Me Coming will be on my TBR. It's not gonna obviously be on my TBR for January because I am finishing this at the very tail end of January, um, coming right in the last minute here, but Never Saw Me Coming will be close behind it probably on my February TBR. So yeah, like I said, basically I'm just coming in to say like, we are gonna focus on the Lane Fargo book, but yeah, I, I'm just so excited. And like I said, that first chapter, wow. I mean, to start off, we, we're getting the perspective of what is a professor and she is hiding out watching this student at the college, I think he's the quarterback of the football team, and he is coming to do his normal morning workout. And she kind of steps back and it watches him go through this whole process. And he is known for drinking, I think it's like his own version of an energy drink. And, you know, come to find out she has poisoned it and she is watching him basically die. And like I said, I'm not spoiling anything. This is all in the very first chapter. And when he's basically like choking out like the why, it, come to find out it's because he and these other football players had something to do with what I can only assume is like an assault on this girl. And she basically says her name as her reason. And that's where the first chapter leaves us. And so, like I said, I just, I, I have to pick this as my book that I'm going to focus on. So here we go. We're going to read like Audrey. All right. So I'm in the process of getting ready for work this morning. So my lighting is kind of all over the place, but I realized I haven't really given an update and I'm a little over 50% of the way into They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. And I'm really enjoying it. So I, this whole time, have been trying to figure out how these two storylines are going to connect. So we have the storyline of a professor who basically um, makes sure that men on campus who have done something wrong uh, earn their consequence, usually through murder. And then we have a storyline of a college student um, who is kind of a, a more quiet, reserved individual, uh, who meets her roommate, who is not, her roommate is part of the theater department, um, and her roommate is trying to, like, bring her out of her shell a little bit, and just kind of this experience of, you know, being a freshman in college, and yeah, just having this, 
you know, first time in college experience and, and coming out of Rochelle and dealing with things that, um, I, I shouldn't say every college freshman deals with, but, um, anyways, um, <laughs> dealing with a lot of different things, um, with a roommate. And so you're trying to figure out how these two storylines are going to connect. And I've gotten that connection and I am not going to give it away here because I think it's going to be a major, major spoiler, but mm, so <laughs> that's all I have to say on that. Um, and I'm, I'm finding it very strange because uh, not in most thrillers do you find yourself rooting for the murderer. So yeah, this, this one is an interesting perspective. Uh, so I just had to give a little update there. But uh, definitely, definitely enjoying my journey reading like Audrey. So, all right, here we are like 13 hours later from the same chair, almost the same position. But instead of getting ready, I am home from the gym and I just finished the book. So, oh my gosh, I loved it. <laughs> now, I should never doubt an Audrey recommendation. And, and I didn't going into this. I mean, by the reaction that I had of the first chapter of this book, uh, I knew it was going to be a good one. And this is one of those that I, I will definitely recommend the audiobook if you are an audiobook person. Um, if you like, well, I, yeah, if you like to listen to audiobooks, because the audiobook was, it was good. Um, we have two different perspectives and you get two different readers or narrators in the audiobook. So, um, but I think it would be a good ebook as well. So, or physical read. I just didn't have a physical book. So anyways, um, but I really, really enjoyed it. I was laughing because I was telling a coworker today about this book and I said, it is very rare that you root for the murderer in a story. So I do not want to spoil too much when it comes to this book. Um, and I've said it once, I'll say it again, but it is, it is They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. Um, but yeah, this was so, so good. Uh, and I'm so, so glad I listened to Audrey. And actually I'm laughing because I was going through my Goodreads as I was updating this. And I can't remember if I said this in my clip this morning or not, but I had already had this on a shelf <laughs> that I created after watching one of Audrey's videos. And that was Audrey had made um, a video about her favorite dark academia reads and this is one of them so this was already on my shelf for that so it was kind of a perfect perfect opportunity because I'll be pulling a book off of that shelf so that's pretty exciting but you are you're getting um this this whole book uh, takes place on this like small college campus um yeah and it's it just what an interesting premise of yeah, how many books can you say you're rooting for the murderer in a story? Because, you know, it's a story of, of revenge. So, yeah, and now I, I'm, I'm kind of peeking at what the Goodreads, um, like, description of this. Um, it says it's a psychological thriller, which, I mean, obviously, about two women who give bad men exactly what they deserve. So... And I think that that is, that's just like a perfect description. So I would say if you like psychological thrillers, if you like dark academia, and if you normally trust what Audrey a chapter, converse, chapter and Converse has to say, definitely, definitely pick this, pick this one up because I am certainly glad I did. And... <sighs> Like I said, I had two other books that I she had suggested to me. I am for sure going to be picking up the Vera Kirian one sooner than later. Um, and I might wait for a snowstorm to pick up Shiver. Shiver has been on my list of things to read for quite some time. Um, and although we've been getting a lot of rain in Wisconsin as of late, uh, considering it is only the end of January, I know we have some more snow in our future. So... 
I might hold that one out for, you know, more of a snowy day coming up. So that is everything that I have for this read like a booktuber video where I feature Audrey from Chapter and Converse. As always, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.